I love to smell good. I love to smell expensive. I love to smell like that babe. Le Libre, libre, pardon me, I have no French. Don't come talk trash to me. This perfume deserves respect, period. It just screams sophistication. Sis, are you really a boss, babe? <laughs> hi guys welcome back to my channel if you are new here if this is your first time seeing this lovely face my name is naku alote and you're most welcome to my channel however i would really do love for you to stay so kindly hit the subscribe button below to join my amazing youtube family to my returning viewers and subscribers thank you so much for coming back so as you can see from the title of today's video i'm going to be sharing with you guys my perfume collection this is one of the most requested videos on my channel and this is one video Video that a lot of you have been waiting for and it's actually one video that I have also been looking forward to film so yeah we finally have this video here today but before I get into the video I just want to say a big thank you to all of you for the love on all my you know previous vlogmas uploads like you guys are amazing you guys I don't know what to say but you guys are simply amazing and thank you so much for all the love and support I really do appreciate it so guys before we get into the video a little backstory so growing up I was not really into perfumes because I was prone to cold like my nose got irritated by you know the least scent so I was very prone to cold or flu as some of you may call it so I was not into perfumes I was not into fragrances I was more of like a body mist or a body splash kind of girl because you know those ones are a bit mild so growing up like those are my kind of things I was like never into perfumes because of my nose but funny enough now I love perfumes like I'm so much into perfumes that I have a whole collection I can't even believe that like I'm so much into perfumes that I now have a whole collection and I'm still building my collection guys I love to smell good I love to smell expensive I love to smell like that babe I don't you guys get what I mean I love to smell good so yeah today I'm here to share my perfume collection with you guys and to show you guys all the perfumes I love and all the perfumes I use so if this sounds like something you are interested in then don't go anywhere stick and stay till the end of this video and don't forget to hit the subscribe button if you are not yet subscribed and join the notification gang so you don't miss out on any of my videos so I have all my perfumes here I don't know if you guys can see but yeah the first perfume I'm going to be talking about is what I'm wearing right now so let's get into it so the first perfume I'm going to be talking about is the original La Vie Belle by Lancome and um, this should tell you how much I love the scent like it's almost done as you guys can see this is a floral feminine scent this is super floral it's super feminine and it's sweet like it's a sweet scent it's just It's such a sweet scent and when you have it on it makes you feel edible like this is such a sweet scent and one thing I like about this scent is that it's an everyday scent so this is a type of fragrance that you can wear like every day and you can wear like everywhere so I wear this to work I wear this to church I wear this for outings like it's just an everyday scent and it's more of like a daytime scent to me and another thing I love about this scent is the fact that it's like it's for all age groups trust me someone within like 18 to 25 um older people can can all wear the scent like it's it's for all age groups and this particular scent is a bit sentimental to me i attach a lot of emotions to this particular scent for some reasons so yeah this particular scent is definitely one that i absolutely adore like i love the scent and when it comes to the packaging i actually love this um, it's very simple and nice and I love the fact that they put this over here the ribbon over here it gives it some touch of femininity and so yeah the packaging is just you know a very simple and nice um, packaging and I love this so I absolutely adore the scent and it's definitely a scent that every lady should have in her collection so the next scent I'm going to be talking about is the Daisy Marc Jacobs um, fragrance so this is also an everyday fragrance and talking about the packaging I love the whole you know flower thing going Going up here it gives it you know a feminine touch and of course it's a floral perfume and that's one of the notes so this is also an everyday scent it's definitely a scent you can wear like everywhere 
I mean everywhere it's a sweet floral scent it's a clean scent yeah um, it's not too strong but it really has you know a nice um, fresh scent that's just perfect for every day and I feel like this is definitely a perfume you need if you are now you know starting off your perfume collection as well as the Lancome because um, it's an everyday scent and it's not so much of you know a complicated scent so if you are now starting off your perfume collection then this is definitely a scent to start Start off with because you can wear this to like anywhere you can wear this to work you can wear this for date night you can wear this like literally everywhere so this is definitely a perfume you need if you are now starting off your perfume collection um personally for me i think this is more of a daytime scent but if you are now starting off your perfume collection you can definitely rock this um during the night as well but for me i, I because of the fact that it's fresh it's clean it's um, a floral scent this is more of a daytime scent to me but like i said if you are now starting off your perfume collection then definitely you can rock this during the night now moving on to one of my absolute faves it's the carolina herrera good girl perfume guys if you claim you're a boss babe and you don't own one of this sis are you really a boss babe <laughs> guys just deep this just deep this whoa this perfume this perfume screams confidence like it gives off a boss babe vibe period guys just look at her gorgeousness look at that look at that heel so the first thing that actually attracted me to this scent was definitely the packaging even before i smelled the scent to know how it smelled like like the packaging just did the selling and trust me it's not only the bottle design that's fire the scent itself is bomb like when you see this perfume when you see this bottle it just screams sophistication and this scent gives off proper boss babe vibes period when you wear the scent it gives you some level of confidence because this bottle in itself is confidence like this to me gives off boss babe vibes a confident woman vibes like talk to me nice or don't talk to me at all vibes you know what i mean this is absolute sophistication like this perfume is a must-have so like i mentioned earlier on this is a very sophisticated um, scent and it's a bit hard to actually tell what the notes are so i'm gonna read out the notes the top notes are almond coffee bergamot and lemon middle notes are tuberose jasmine sambac orange blossom bulgarian rose and then the base notes we have tonka beans cocoa vanilla um cashmere wood mask cinnamon and cheddar so this is a very sophisticated and complicated scent so yeah this is the carolina herrera good girl and this is more of a nighttime scent but you can also wear this scent during the daytime when you want to make a statement so let's say you have like you know um, a presentation at work or an interview or i don't know like somewhere that you want to make a statement you want to impress during the day then this is definitely a perfume that you can you can wear but this is absolutely a nighttime scent um date night it screams confidence like wear this into a room and it will announce your presence even before you introduce yourself so out of my collection i have three perfumes that i mostly get complimented for and these are like my three most complimented perfumes and this is one of them this is one perfume that i always get complimented for like wherever i wear this to i get complimented so this is one of my highly complimented perfumes and this is definitely a scent you need to have in your collection if you're a boss babe or you're trying to be a boss babe or you want to you know announce your presence then this is definitely a scent you should have in your collection the carolina herrera good girl perfume i love this perfume and everybody actually loves this perfume i don't think i've come across anyone who hates this perfume this perfume is such a classic like guys guys okay enough all right guys so the next perfume i'm going to be talking about is the ysl libre 
Libre, Libre, pardon me, I'm no French. So yeah, the next perfume I'm talking about is the YSL Libre. As you can see, I have, um, let me call this the original and the intense. So we're going to be talking about these two. But first of all, let's just appreciate the packaging. Guys, can you see that? Like, let's just appreciate this. Guys this is legit the most gorgeous perfume bottle i've ever owned like look at the way the ysl is is written in like 3d and wrapped around the bottle this looks so expensive trust me i love the packaging and even the cover so yeah this is the ysl libre um original So this is a floral powdery scent um it's basically a sexy scent it gives off like you know sexy strong elegant vibes so if you are someone who loves to smell strong and sexy then definitely this is a must-have um it's a very fresh pleasing scent and it has a very strong lavender note to it um it gets musky as it dries down but it still has you know the lavender notes as it dries down i wear this for both you know daytime and nighttime um daytime because it gives off you know this floral fruity scent and during the night because it gives off this you know sexy strong elegant vibe so yeah this is definitely a scent you can wear both you know day and night if you're going somewhere you want to you know feel sexy with a very you know sexy outfit during the night time then this is definitely a perfume to wear like this it just feels elegant trust me and sexy so yeah that is the ysl libre original so now let's get to the intense so yeah this is the ysl libre intense and comparing this to the original there are little tweaks to the notes like um tonka beans which is in this one but not in the original so these tweaks with the notes actually makes the intense sweeter um warmer and more feminine as compared to the original and the vanilla notes in the intense is a lot more predominant which makes it really beautiful um it's not musky like the original and as you can see from the bottle i actually gravitate a lot towards the intense because i i tend to love you know warm scent so i gravitate a lot towards the intense as compared to to the original um this is more of like a nighttime scent to me yeah this is more of like a nighttime scent to me however i believe you can wear it during the day as well this is such a sweet scent this is such a warm scent i actually love both of them but like i said i gravitate more towards the intense so yeah there you have it ysl libre okay guys so the next perfume i'm going to be talking about is the tom ford rose prick this particular one so the perfume itself sits in this gorgeous baby pink box i actually love this i love the color the baby pink gives off like you know a feminine vibe and i love it so yeah when you open this the perfume itself sits in here and there she is she is so pretty and this is the most recent addition to my perfume collection and this perfume is actually very special to me if you are an og on this channel you know why this perfume is special to me so yeah this perfume is so special to me and i just love the packaging it's very minimalistic yet very classy and catchy and i love the way you know the tom ford is engraved over here i just love it i love this perfume so now let's get into the perfume proper so this is a very potent scent like this is the kind of scent that when someone else wears like i'll stop the person to ask what scent are you wearing or what perfume are you wearing like guys guys so this perfume screams three things to me expensive bougie and power 
that's it um it's a rosy scent just as the name suggests it has a combination of you know three different types of roses as its top notes yeah may rose turkish rose and bulgarian rose so it has a combination of these you know three different kinds of roses and for the hat notes we have Szechuan pepper and turmeric which makes it a little spicy and for the base notes we have um, patchouli and tonka beans and the tonka beans actually add a little bit of warmth and sweetness to the scent which i really love so this is a very strong scent and if you want to wear this you need to be confident if not the perfume would rather wear you this is for bold people this is for someone who wants to make a statement this is definitely a crowd pleasing scent and a lot of people love the scent this is also one of the perfumes that you know i mostly get complimented for so this is another um highly complimented perfume of mine like i said i have three of them so this is the second one wherever i wear this to i'm asked what perfume i'm wearing so yeah this is definitely a crowd pleasing perfume um i wouldn't wear this perfume to work because it's it's a strong scent i wouldn't consider this perfume a daytime scent this is more of like a nighttime scent i would wear this perfume for you know first date date night i would wear this perfume for you know night parties clubbing because this perfume like it's a long lasting perfume so this is definitely a perfume i would wear like during the night and when i know i'm going to you know have a very long night and definitely i would wear on a night when i want to make a statement because this perfume screams expensive bougie and power like this is the kind of scent that when a person wants to come and talk trash to you like as soon as the person walks closer to you and smells the scent like the person will just pause and rethink what he or she is coming to say to you this perfume is a no-nonsense perfume like don't come talk trash to me this perfume deserves respect period so yeah i love this perfume i absolutely love this and i think tom ford actually really does well with their packaging like it doesn't look cheap at all so yeah that's the tom ford rose prick all right guys so the next fragrance i'm going to be talking about is c by Giorgio armani so um i have two of them i have um the original and this is the intense 2021 so yeah first of all let's talk about the packaging so i love the simplicity of this bottle i love the cup like this is so simple yet nice so yeah concerning the packaging i just love how simple it is so let's talk about the original first then we talk about the intense so this is the c original by giorgio armani this is a fruity scent and this smells divine this is definitely one of the scents that you can't go wrong with like it's it's fruity it's floral it's a bit spicy it's a bit warm but yet you know very clean and fresh like you can never go wrong with c original trust me and when it begins to dry down you get you know like a little bit of um, a woody tone and i feel this is a fragrance where you know all the notes in here are very well balanced it's not so it's not a complicated fragrance and i find it very pleasant and beautiful to wear um it's an everyday perfume um it doesn't matter the occasion you can definitely pull this off so this is definitely um a perfume that i'll drop you know both during the day and during the night i love this it's it's simply pleasant like it's, it's such a pleasant perfume and it's so divine and now moving on to the c intense 2021 i just love this perfume you guys can tell from the bottle like i just love this perfume and i've actually abused this perfume i have and first things first <laughs> i love the color of the juice look at that so this is also a fruity floral scent but more um warmer and more spicy than the original um it's still a fresh scent but you can smell the patchouli notes more which gives it this um you know beautiful earthiness and i love it and i just love the warmth of this this scent guys trust me this scent is such an addictive scent i'm literally addicted to this scent and it's not even funny like i'm so addicted to this scent the more like the more you use it the more you get hooked up to this it's 
it's no joke i love the scent um this is a strong scent but it's not strong to the extent that you can wear it during the day this is definitely both um a daytime and a nighttime scent i love the scent so this is definitely a scent you can wear for you know date night parties during the day during the night brunch lunch all of that like this scent is so addictive and you can wear it both day and night it's such a sweet scent and it's just stunning like this scent is just amazing so yeah these are the two um tea by giorgio armani fragrances i have like two out of that collection and like you can tell from the bottle with these two i'm not drawn towards one than the other i actually love both of them just that i'm so addicted to this one but i love both of them and this is also one of my most complimented perfumes so out of my collection it's the c intense 2021 the carolina herrera good girl and the tom ford rose brick all right guys so moving on this is um the ysl black opium that's the next perfume i'm talking about so this is also a very pleasant and sexy fragrance this is not your regular girly fragrance no this is a bit more you know sexy and this lasts really long on me i love this for date nights and my husband actually loves this perfume as well um, it has a bit of coffee in here which makes it you know a bit deep yet it's still you know girly sweet and flirty this is a sexy perfume period like on days when when i'm feeling a bit sexy for you know date nights and all of that then i'm definitely rocking this perfume it's such a beautiful scent however it's definitely not the most you know unique scent but it's beautiful and it's sexy i love it all right guys so the last scent i'm going to be talking about is alive by hugo boss um, as you can see from the bottle, I've really not used so much of this scent. So I've actually had this scent for a while now, um, for more than three months now. But funny enough, the very first time I smelled this scent, I don't know, I was not, I was not feeling it. So I just ignored it and pushed it somewhere for you know a very long time. But quite recently i started using this again like i i just thought let me let me try it out again and so what i noticed was probably the first time i used this um i combined it with some other perfume which made me not to like this so when i started using it again i used it alone and i was like wow how come i ignored this like so this is a floral um woody sweet scent um it's a pretty warm scent and it's obviously sweet when you first smell this you smell vanilla yeah you smell vanilla and it has it has cinnamon it has apple it's a fruity and floral scent but it has some warmth to it and one interesting thing about this fragrance is the fact that all its base notes are actually woody woody notes like it has a combination of about i think three or four woody notes which makes up its base notes and all of these notes are actually very strong and powerful notes which makes this you know warm which makes it a warm scent so though it's you know fruity it's floral it's a sweet scent it's a very warm scent and i guess that's why i'm loving it because the very first time the very first time i used it the combination i i did didn't work for me but now i'm actually loving this so yeah this is alive by hugo boss and this is definitely both um a daytime and a nighttime scent yeah it's a fresh scent and it's an everyday it's an everyday scent you can wear this like anywhere and everywhere and i love it now so yeah that's um alive by hugo boss all right guys so these are all the perfumes i own or these are all the perfumes in my collection um comment down below if you use any of the perfumes and what you think about the scents and all of that or if you intend getting any of them you know let's get interactive in the comment section i would love to hear your opinions on all the perfumes i own or all the perfumes i've spoken about or if you own any perfume and you think it's such a good one and i need to have it in my collection as well then just drop it in the comment section and let me know so thank you guys so much for watching this video i hope you enjoyed it don't forget to give it a thumbs up if you did and don't forget to subscribe if you are not yet subscribed to the channel 
and one more thing don't forget to join the notification gang okay thank you guys so much and i'll see you in my next video bye